welcome to another video on WordPress brought to you by CNET Systems. Today I'll be showing users how to add plugins to their WordPress blog or website. First, what we want to do to get started is log into our WordPress dashboard. Next, from here, we want to choose the plugin link on the left side of the page. By default, WordPress only has two different plugins installed. Um, to activate them, all you got to do is click on the activate link, or if you want them deleted, you can just go ahead and click on delete. To add new plugins is actually a fairly simple process. All we have to do is go up at the top and select the Add New button. From here, we can actually do a search for whatever plugin we're looking for. And for this example, I have a couple plugins I want to show off. So, one good plugin that we use to add uh, internet traffic to our website is called the All in One SEO Pack. This allows your website to be found on major search engines like Google and Bing and what it does is it highlights fields that you need to fill out for keywords and descriptions to better help your website get found on websites. So I'll show off the plugin. Let's look for it first. First to search for a plugin, all you gotta do is click on the text field down here next to term. And if you know the plugin name, all you have to do is type in the plugin's name. If you don't, you can search by broad terms. But for this example, I already know what plugin we're looking for. But it's always a good idea to go through and scour the different plugins because a lot of them do different things, and some people might not know certain ones exist. So go ahead and search for the all in one SEO pack. When you do a search, you'll notice that you're given a version number, the rating of the uh, actual plugin, and a description of you know how the plugin works, you know who makes it and uh, some other different features that you can do within it. Once you find a plugin that you like, all you need to do is click on the Install Now link. WordPress is going to give you a little warning saying, are you sure you want to install this plugin? You want to just click OK for Yes. And just like that, the plugin that you choose is installed, unpacked, and distributed across the website. So now that it's working, all you got to do is go to Activate Plugin. And some plugins actually have different features that you actually need to go within the actual program and configure. So for example, the all-in-one all SEO pack, you need to go and configure over here with underneath the settings. And some are actually going to include a few different uh, advertisements uh, to support the plugin. So if you want to donate to them, that's awesome. Um, but for this plugin, all you got to do is click on the plugin status it's automatically disabled. You want to just go ahead and click enable. And there's a few other things that you can set up within the plugin setting. And pretty much all different plugins have like these options, but some of them don't. It just depends on how the plugins are initially set up. But once we get uh, this plugin activated, all we have to do is update our options. And we should get a little message up at the top saying that the all in one SEO pack is updated. So what it does is now once we go into a sample uh, post, you'll notice down here there's an all-in-one SEO pack uh, box. Down here is where we put in the description and title and keywords associated with this WordPress post. Next plugin I want to show you is one that's uh, really good for getting people's information. It's called Contact Form. Contact form will create a page with different fields that users can fill in, such as a uh, email address, name, city, all sorts of different things to be able to have you be able to contact them once again. So it's called Contact Form 7. And just like the all in one SEO pack, all we gotta do is search for it, find it, click install. And it's just as simple as that. I'm going to go ahead and activate this plugin. For this plugin, all we have to do is hit activate and it's already set to go. There's no other settings we need to really worry about. Um, there are different settings that the plugin can actually do. So if you want to click on the settings for contact form 7, you're taken to the settings page. And here you can actually generate the different contact form tags. So within here, you can choose uh, to put your name if you want their name in there. So you can put first name, last name, whatever. Uh, email, 
it will record the email, subject, and message. There are different things you can add to this, but you know that really is up to you what you want to kind of add there. All right, and once you're done, all you have to do is copy this code from up top right there and paste it into a blog post or page. And the final plugin I want to show off is a plugin for playing Amazon S3 videos. It's called Smart S3. A lot of people are starting to use the Amazon S3 format to upload videos and by default our WordPress website can't read the tags that we put in so someone made this handy little plugin that all we have to do is install it and it gives us a link and option to put in our S3 videos. Once we install it all we need to do is activate it. Once activated down here is our S3 settings and from in here we're going to want to set up our Amazon S3 access key secret key and we can choose to have a default bucket name and player height and width. By default this stuff is blank and the Amazon S3 access key and secret key are obtained through your Amazon S3 account. Well I hope you found this video on installing WordPress plugins useful. Please stay tuned for more videos on WordPress.